So this is insane, but it's it's crazy, crazy cool. How's everybody doing? Made it through security. We're about to get checked in. And we'll be getting on the ship soon. This is the exciting time. All right, we have made it to our room. This is a mini suite, and it is mini, but it's sweet. <laughs> Whoo! Different boarding process today. So, yeah. being a group leader, they pull you aside, and then it like said denied boarding, and we're freaking out. Like, what do you mean boarding have, denied? There's like 900 people on the <laughs> ship. Kind of expecting us to be here, but it was just so the group coordinator could escort us on board. Whoo! That was scary, but we are on board. Our room is ready. We're gonna drop our luggage, go grab some lunch. lunch. But would you like to take a look at the room first? A mini suite on this class of ship isn't that much different than a regular balcony, and actually they call them club balconies now, but you know how your brain works. You always call it what it used to be called. So this part of the room looks pretty similar to a standard balcony. You've got a little bit more room in the cabin and a little bit more room on the balcony, but we have our bed, big nice bed, closets. I love having shelving. One thing about the club balcony is we get robes. That's nice. Ooh, those are nice robes. Really soft on the inside. You're gonna like that. Over on the side of the room, we have a nice sofa to sit on, a TV, and a getting ready area is what we're gonna call it, or a little desk. Um, we've got two US plugs and two European plugs. We always bring a, an adapter for use of those European plugs. We have a little mini bar down here and a place to sit if you want to get ready or it pulls out and you have a little table. So you can do this and you have a little tabletop or you can take this off and use it for somewhere to sit. And it's a storage cube. Good place to put shoes. And we're out on the balcony. So out here we've got two chairs and a little table. Really cool view of New Orleans right now. The bathroom is what makes the club balcony slash mini suite a really cool room. Check this out. You have a massive shower. Whoa. Look at this. I mean, you know, most cruise ships have that little corner shower that you can barely turn around in. This is a shower. No, that's a shower. That's a shower. You got an upper shower head. You have jets that'll hit you in the middle. And you got jets that'll hit you so you can go, oh, You can bend over and scrub your toes. <laughs> Love this. And a double sink vanity. First stop is the buffet. We gotta get something to eat. We did not eat breakfast. We skipped it. Just had some coffee and we are starving. So we're gonna hit up the buffet before mustard drill. Should I go with the salad? Yes. Okay. That's, what I'm, that's what I'm doing. I'm gonna start eating healthy anyway. Just tomato you always do. I always do. I start with a salad. My choices change after that, but I start. How's that salad, honey? It's a salad. <laughs> Not super it exciting. Good. It is good. I put the balsamic vinegar on mine. I got French on mine. It's salad's always refreshing, and I think it's a good way to start a cruise. Telling it's, yourself it's us, you're going to eat healthy. Ourselves. I know, right? 
Where's the dessert? Lunch is being served in Garden Cafe, located on deck 15, huh? That's what we're doing. Savor and taste restaurant, Plate number two. located on deck 6, huh? Okay, let's be real. I ate salad, and now it's pizza time. Okay, so it is time to head up to Spice H2O. We got this big old huge backpack full of lanyards and all kind of goodies to give out to people. Uh, we got like 800 people here, so let's get it going. Let the vlogger extravaganza begin. This is the kickoff. Let's here we go. It. Boom! <laughs> So this is insane, but it's it's crazy, crazy cool. How's everybody doing? Yeah. Are we gonna have a good time? Pretty awesome, huh? You know, you plan this and you see all the names on paper, and then when you see this many people here cruising together, this is incredible. Coming together because they all do like doing the same thing, and then the friends that you make is just cherry on top. Absolutely awesome. This is going to be an incredible week. Look at this guy right here, the man. <laughs> One of the coolest things about sailing down the Mississippi River is turning around in New Orleans. So you're you are a nose in by this bridge whenever you are boarding the ship, and the ship does a 180 degree turn to go that way down the river, and that's what we're doing right now. Ooh, we are sailing away from beautiful New Orleans. Hi, New Orleans. The weather is holding up. It's was supposed to rain. Oh, I was it, so worried. It hasn't yet, but it looks like it's gonna drop any minute. I know, it's been cloudy and overcast all day with like a 50 to 60 percent chance of rain all day, but we haven't gotten a drop. It's been great. But the temperature is awesome. Oh, I know. Very nice. Uh, we have had an interesting sail away. <laughs> this vlogger's extravaganza cruise has been awesome so far. We're off to an excellent start. I'm loving every second of it. Yes, this it's, is so fun. It really is. Yeah, it's it's been crazy. But, uh, wow, we've already met so many nice folks, and we have so many more to meet. Yep, we're pulling away from the city right now. It was really cool doing that 180-degree turn underneath the bridge. That was awesome. That was really cool. And now we're going around the Crescent. So the city is behind us, and it's getting smaller and smaller as we get further away. Yeah. Got a little nice little time lapse of us sailing away and going down the mighty Mississippi. So yeah. check that out. for Jason and Elisa with EECC -E Travels! Come on down, you're the next contestant on the Cruiser is right? Um, you know, we, we don't publish too many personal things. Um, I think, you know, my hair was something that I had to get personal about. Um, and the response to that's just been amazing. You know, that was something that was really tough for me and you know, I wanted to share that and I've gotten so much positive feedback and so many people said that that's meant something to them and touched them. And so I'm really glad that I, I shared that personal thing, but thank you. Trying to learn on the fly and, and then it's just kind of taken off and with the support of all you awesome people, it's grown and it keeps growing and we are just truly blessed to be here and we're having an awesome time. I think the weirdest one for me was we were in Ikea one day in Houston, had masks on and everything, and someone's like, hey, are y'all EECC travels? I'm like, how can you even tell? I'm like, my face covered. 
So that was like the most unusual. But I think like the first time we were like dumbfounded. We're like, oh my God, somebody actually recognizes us. Somebody watches our videos and they know who we are. But um, it, it's cool. And I just, we just love talking to people. So um, every now and then you get someone who is timid and they're like, I, I hate to bother you, but can I just say, I'm like, of course, always come say hi. I just one day said, you know, why don't we get everybody together and do one big group cruise with everybody. And we've got so many great creators on board with us. And so there's us, but there's so many more. So tomorrow you guys are going to get to meet a whole lot more creators. So let's keep building this community because it's awesome. Yay. in Costa Maya. This is our first port of the cruise. The weather looks pretty good today. There was a chance of rain. Hopefully that's passed, but we are about to walk through the port, leave the port, take a taxi over to Maya Chan, which is an all-inclusive resort here in Costa Maya. Are you ready for some beach time? We have not been on a beach since June and So we are in holding, all our groups here. We're just waiting for the uh, stragglers. We got a few that are lost. I never I lost in Mexico. <laughs> I'm ready for this beach day. Jesus, Fun in the sun, a little bit of food, a couple of nice drinks would be nice. Maybe a margarita. Maybe. Maybe. Maybe a couple of margaritas. Maybe one. Yeah. <laughs> We are in Costa Maya and we are about to get on our taxi or shuttle and go to our resort for the day. Maya yes. Chan? Maya Chan. Maya Chan? Yeah. This looks really cool, but it's a pretty good trek to get over here. It is. So you have to go all the way through the maze of the port, get out of the port, get through the construction, and then walk about a quarter mile to the meeting point for Maya Chan. But they have taxis waiting for you. Taxis are included in the cost. So let's go. Yeah. Bring your walking shoes. Yes. Let's go. I'm ready to get to the beach. Well, hello there. Oh, hi. We you guys got a good spot. We did. We got the corner unit near the pool, near the second bar. I'm telling you now. Have you been here before? Third time. Yeah, I can tell. Yeah. You know the layout well. Yeah. Yeah. We're happy to be here. Already yeah. got your link. Yeah. That's it. Well, we drink. Yeah. Let's have some fun. Hey. Uh, we are settled. We are in a cabana in the back corner. I can see the beautiful Caribbean that way. The bar in the bathroom is that way. And they will let us know when the taco bar opens. But in the meantime, fresh pico. You got those. Yeah. Those look nice. Oh my God. Really good. Everybody's chowing down on them. They look, and they're saying they're delicious. So good looking. Yeah. So there's um, a taco bar up there. They fresh make the tortillas. So they ask you if you want flour or corn and they hand them to you and they're piping hot. They were just freshly made. There is steak, chicken, fish, and there was also a pork, but I only asked for three tortillas. I didn't know there was four different meats. Um, a fresh Mexican cheese, all kinds of toppings, and even a bowl of rice and beans. So, what are you gonna do for hmm, I, everyone's raving about the fish, so let me try the fish first. I wasn't really hungry, but now I am. Oh my god, yes. It's Taco Tuesday! On the beach. Mmm. It's sea bass. Mmm. We have literally done nothing today. We got here, we sat in these chairs. A waiter came and brought us a drink. 
We sat in these chairs. We got up and got some tacos, brought them back to these chairs. Waiters brought us more drinks. We never left these chairs. Like our seriously, are numb. our clothes are still on. We never got in the water. But let me tell you, this has been the most spectacular day because we've just been sitting here like this with the wind blowing at 79 degrees in the shade all day. Oh, it's beautiful. We have a beautiful view of the Caribbean out there. But this is exactly what we needed after two very, very busy days on the vlogger cruise. We're recharging our batteries today so we can be alive tomorrow. So, see you tomorrow. That's it. Good morning from Rotan. Yesterday, we were supposed to port at Harvest K, but the winds were too bad and the captain was like, nah, not gonna chance it. So it ended up being a sea day. That port of call was canceled. We had a lovely day on the ship. Got to visit and meet a lot of new people, which was amazing. Uh, but today we are at Rotan and we're gonna stay on the ship. We are not getting off the ship. It's all about the spa today. Elisa is over there putting her robe on and we are gonna chill in the spa today. the best excursion you could ever do on a port day because most people are off the ship I'm in the thermal suite right now there's maybe 10 people in here oh, it's glorious we do this all the time and breakaways got one of the best thermal suites we've ever seen the breakaway getaway this class of ship fantastic thermal suite so Jason decided he wanted to get some sun so he's gonna uh, melt out on the pool deck for a little while before joining me in here but I was like all about the thermal suite heading in here and getting my chill on for today so we are in the port of Roatan beautiful view outside I love where the thermal suite is always located really high up on either the front or the back of the ship so you've got these amazing views so I'm sitting in my lounger right now and looking out at a beautiful Caribbean town and I've got Oasis of the Sea sitting right there. Not a, not a bad view for the day. I have made it to the spa after spending some time at Spice H2O in the sun, on the lounge, and just chilling. I wanted to get a little bit of sun this morning. Lisa wanted to come straight to the spa, so mm -hmm. I let her do that. And I'm done with the sun for today because we got a big day at Paradise Beach tomorrow, so I didn't want to get too much. And plus, I forgot the sunscreen. Yes, he did. I can't believe he forgot sunscreen. But isn't this really? the best? Yeah, this is the best. Mm. The best. Look who it is. Look who it is. Hey, we We found some friends in the spa. They're also having spa day. <laughs> it's a good day for it. Yeah, this thing is about to come on. I'm going to laugh if it comes on. If it comes on, right well, I'm standing right here, that would be... Not good, because I have a microphone on this thing. <laughs> so yeah, I have been in here all day except for lunch. Just got out, got some lunch, and then came right back in here. The great thing about doing this on board days is most of the people are off the ship, so it's a low crowd. Oh, there it goes! <laughs> there she goes! Oh, she's That's awesome. This feels so good on your shoulders, by the way, so... If you come to the thermal suite, you have to get in the process pool and do this with your shoulders. Ah, uh, can you hear that vibration? So what's awesome is there's these really high powered jets against the wall. You literally have to hold on, but there's one jet position to hit your lower back 
and then there's a lower jet position that you put your foot up to it. So you can do one foot at a time, but oh my God, it's like the best massage ever. That's really close, honey. <laughs> well, we are sailing away from Rotan. We didn't get off. We've been in the spa all day, had a marvelous day in the spa, just relaxing. I'm all showered and ready to go to dinner. Lisa's actually still in the spa, but she should be coming down pretty shortly because we're getting close to dinner time. And we have a special treat tonight. We're actually eating dinner at the Haven tonight. So this is a first for us. We're looking forward to see how that goes. Pretty hungry, so come on, Lisa. I'm ready to eat. Look who showed up. Yeah. From the spa. I finally came out. So I've been in the spa literally all day in the thermal suite. I have bad sinuses and my sinuses have flared up and my throat scratchy from talking too much. So went in there and just inhaled all the steam and rest and relaxation and we skipped Roatan. Did a spa day. Best day ever. We always do this. You look rested. I am rested. I told everybody about a little treat tonight. The Haven. We get to eat the Haven for the first time. Yeah, that's gonna be cool. Ooh, good morning from Cozumel. The sun's coming out. I've been up since 4 a.m. and on the way in it was pretty rainy so I was worried but uh, the sun is out. It is hot as usual here in Cozumel. We were supposed to get off the ship today and go to Paradise Beach Club. We are not going to be doing that today because Elisa is still in the bed. She has a very very bad sore throat. It's been brewing for a couple of days and it's pretty rough today. So unfortunately we're not going to be able to go to Paradise Beach Club with the large group. So that kind of stinks. I may get off and uh, go to the pharmacy and get her some medicine. Norwegian Prima just came in. That is an awesome ship. By the way, we do have a video on that ship. We did a full ship tour. So check that out if you haven't seen that video already. So yeah, so looks like we're just gonna be hanging on the ship today. I'll be taking care of Elisa, whatever she needs. I am Nurse Jason today. That is, that's, that's my role today. We are here. We have made it to the drugstore. Let's see what they got. Right, here's my list of things to get. 1,340 pesos? Yeah. And that is how many? 67. 67 USD. Uh -huh. Okay, 1,340 pesos? 67 USD. Okay. All right, so looks like, all right, the prednisone, 20 milligrams, is 100 tablets. That's 30 USD for that. The a Zithromax or Z Pack is 500 milligrams. It's also 30 USD, but it doesn't tell me how many tablets. I couldn't understand the guy, but I think it's 30 tablets. And then the, I, the 600 milligram ibuprofen is seven US dollars. So $67, and I got all that to bring home with me, and that should boost Lisa to getting back to health. Because, you know. She's not feeling good and we gotta take the medicine and this is probably the best stuff she can get to get back to health quickly. So she's gonna be happy about this. balcony for the last time on the on the breakaway. What an incredible week this has been. Unbelievable. So, so the last time you saw Jason he was uh, frantically trying to get me some medicine. Obviously it did work. Yesterday we just spent the entire sea day hanging out with people talking. We didn't touch this camera once because that's what, not what this trip was about. This trip was about hanging out with the people that were here sailing with us on the vlogger cruise 
It was incredible. We met so many people. We just really got to bond with people and hang out with people and it was fantastic. So yes, we were back in New Orleans and we've said goodbye to everyone last night and a few more people this morning and it's time to head home. Yeah, I really don't have a whole lot to add to that other than it was just friggin' amazing. So many cool people. I really enjoyed mingling and hugging all the necks and kissing all the cheeks and even signed some t-shirts. That was pretty neat, <laughs> which is hard to do, by the way, but really a great uh, trip. Such a huge community that we have here in the cruise community, and we all got together on one ship and bonded and came together even closer than we were before. It's just really cool to meet all the other vloggers and check out their channels. So many to list, but it is good to be back here in NOLA, baby, and we are getting off the ship. It's time to go now. We got about a three and a half hour trip north to get home. So what's so cool about this is you can see that like there's, everyone's kind of got their favorites, sort of, who they came on this cruise to see, but then they discovered new channels and made new friends. And this is not about our channel or that channel. It's about the entire cruise community coming together and we're all stronger together. There's no competition here. We're all friends. We're all doing the same thing that we love. We're one intertwined community. Now. Yes, one huge community. It's fantastic. And there will be another one of these. So be on the lookout for an announcement for the second vlogger extravaganza to be determined when.